and welcome to the Business Technology Management Specialization offered by the Indian School of Business. I'm incredibly excited to tell you about what this specialization entails and what you can expect to learn over the next six months. My name is Deepa Mani. I'm an associate professor in the Information Systems Group at the Indian School of Business. I'm also the executive director of the Srini Raju Center for Technology and the Networked Economy, a research center here at ISB that is focused on ICT-centric research, education, and outreach. I thought I'd lead off this video with a series of quotes that together paint for you a portrait of modern business and in turn the need for this specialization. Indeed, life was much easier when apple and blackberry were just fruits. However, the reality of today's businesses is that technology and technology-enabled business models from Silicon Valley-style startups are invading existing industries with impunity. For example, let me ask you, who is the world's largest bookseller? Amazon, a technology company. Who are the largest direct marketing platforms today? Google and Facebook, again, technology companies. What are the companies that dominate the music landscape? Do Sony and BMG come to mind? Or are you thinking Apple, Spotify, Ghana, Xiaomi, Baidu? And you're right if you're thinking the latter. The recording companies exist largely only to provide software companies with content. Technology companies like WhatsApp and Skype have shaved off nearly $386 billion of revenue from global telecom companies like China Telecom, Vodafone, Airtel, etc. The financial services industry today stands visibly transformed by technology companies such as PayPal, Square. And still more disruption seems to be in order from companies that are leveraging emerging technologies like blockchain and Bitcoin to change the very face of traditional financial services as we know it. It's no wonder that Mark Andreessen quipped a few years ago that software is eating the world. If product and business model innovations in industries are increasingly technology-led, then all these firms, including incumbents in these industries, need to place IT at the center of their strategy and operations. As General Electric CEO Jeffrey Immelt noted in his letter to shareholders in 2013, every industrial company will become a software company, so he said. And that vision of firms requires a shift in thinking about IT, and it requires a transformation of the IT function. What do I mean by that? Well, in the past, IT was a support function in firms. The IT organization was peripheral to business strategy. The IT organization focused on automation of transaction-intensive processes, and IT was therefore a cost center. However, in the competitive environment that I just described, IT moves center stage. It is central to business strategy, product differentiation, and market performance of firms. This cost center now drives innovation in firms and is therefore transformed to being a key competitive asset. Yet, firms are unprepared for this transformation. Various industry reports of the like quoted here tell you that IT managers and leaders strongly believe that they have a critical role to play in the transformation of their companies. However, they also believe equally strongly that they and their IT organizations are unprepared for this transformation, a sentiment that is reflected in this Gartner survey. The transformation that I just described reflects not just a shift in thinking about the IT function, but also the requirement for a new breed of IT managers. Managers who can examine technology through a business lens. And that is the context for this business technology management specialization. The specialization will empower you with four key skills. First, through the course on digital transformation, you will acquire an understanding of the nature of technology-led competition. Producers of digital goods, such as Google or Facebook, have distinctive business models such as platform-mediated business networks and distinctive rules of competition and strategy setting. The nimbleness, alacrity and responsiveness to change of producers of digital goods render them formidable competitors. The second key skill that this course will teach you is to think strategically about technology. That is, when you examine technology, 
you will discern products, services and business models enabled by that technology and how fundamental business functions are transformed through technology. Our course on business analytics and digital media will illustrate the value and transformation induced by technology, namely business analytics in the context of the marketing function. Through this course, you will develop an appreciation for the value of data, of analysis and of the tools and platforms that dominate the market. Digital transformation is not easy and may require fundamental changes in structures, processes and culture in your firm. Our courses on leadership and emotional intelligence as well as IT project management will empower you with the third important skill of leading through uncertainty and change. The course on leadership and emotional intelligence will show you how you can work effectively in teams, build cooperative relationships with your key stakeholders, exercise effective influence, handle difficult conversations, and create energy and enthusiasm to foster meaningful change. The course on IT project management covers various aspects pertaining to project initiation, project planning and scheduling, project monitoring and control, and project termination. Finally, as strategic partners in business transformation, tomorrow's technology leaders must know how to assess the value of technology investments as well as the financial health of the context in which these investments are made. The course on accounting and finance for IT managers will empower you with that very language and skill. In brief, through the BTM specialization, you will acquire knowledge of the IT domain, management, leadership and team building skills, and functional and analysis skills. All of these skills are very important, critical even, in your role as a technology manager or leader. At this point, I thought I would also tell you a little bit about the instructors for this specialization. We are all affiliated with the Indian School of Business. As I mentioned at the start of this presentation, I'm an associate professor with the Information Systems Group at ISB. I'm also the executive director for the Srini Raju Center for Technology and the Networked Economy, a research center here that's focused on technology-centric research, education, and impact. My research focuses on the organization and business value of IT investments. It will be my attempt to bring that research into the class with you. Professor Sudhir Voleti will be teaching you the course on digital marketing and analytics. Sudhir's research focuses on combining data with econometric and statistical methods to explain phenomena of marketing interest, such as evolution in the equity of brands over time, valuation of brands using secondary sales data, and the sales impact of geographic and abstract distances between products and markets. He teaches marketing research and marketing management in the MBA program and in the business analytics program at ISB. Professor Ram Narayan Subramaniam, who will be teaching the course on IT leadership, is clinical professor of organizational behavior at ISB. Professor Ram Narayan has edited books of cases in organizational behavior. He teaches organizational behavior and change management in both the MBA as well as the executive education programs at ISB. Professor M. R. Rao, who teaches the course on IT project management, is Professor Emeritus of Operations Management at ISB. He was Dean at the ISB from 2004 to 2009 and a tenured professor of operations research at the Stern School of Business, New York University before that. Professor Rao has received numerous awards, including the prestigious Fulkerson Prize in 2000, awarded by the Mathematical Programming Society and the American Mathematical Society, and the Lifetime Achievement Award in 2009 from the Association of Indian Management Scholars International. MR, as he is popularly known, teaches project management and optimization in the MBA program here at ISB. Professor Ram Thirumalai, who will be teaching the course on finance for IT managers, is clinical assistant professor of finance at ISB. He teaches a range of courses in the finance area, including derivatives and security markets in our MBA certificate and executive education programs. One of the reasons you might be interested in this specialization is, of course, jobs. So I thought I'd tell you at this point about the career prospects for this specialization. Managers with strong business technology management skills are in high demand but short supply. That's what this chart tells you. A 2015 survey of 436 business leaders by Harvard Business Review Analytics Services reports that only 19% of the survey respondents found themselves ready 
to provide digital leadership that was necessary to compete in today's digital environment. A fact that's born in this study by Deloitte and ISB of R&D captive centers or global in-house centers or R&D subsidiaries of multinational companies in India. The centers that saw themselves as quality and innovation centers found themselves woefully short of technology leaders who they also believe contributed maximally to their effectiveness and growth. In brief, all of the skills that you acquire in this specialization are in high demand in the current business environment and we argue will be indispensable to businesses of tomorrow. We are obviously very excited about this specialization and hope you are too. The first course up is on digital transformations. I'll begin with an introduction to the key learning objectives of that course. Subsequently, over the next five modules of the course, we will learn about how the potentially disruptive effects of technology enables new products, new business models, how firms can respond to these effects and how they can use technology to transform their businesses to create competitive value. I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the course.